What's up, everyone? Happy Tuesday. We're down here in the creek tonight. Over here on the border of Malvern and Valley Stream. It's a pretty night. Out here cruising around on a bike before it gets too dark out. Last night was a late night one. This one's uh, a little bit nicer out with some uh, twilight going on. And uh, I'm going to get your message of the day. <clears throat> so today is day 345. Oh, there's a bunny. You see the bunny running over there? Today's day 345. We got 20 days left of this journey. It's uh, been a long road and the weather's breaking and it's kind of awesome. Uh, nice to see. So, uh, all right, message of the day. So, uh, something that came to me uh, in the course of my real estate uh, journeys and much parallel to life. Um, are you looking to an expert? Are you hiring an expert? Are you learning from an expert? Are you reading expert books? Are you getting coached by experts? And are you doing everything in your power to resist what the experts tell you? So people hire me to be uh, their realtor, to either help them sell a house or help them buy a house. And many of them uh, will second guess me and will ask why I'm doing everything I'm doing. And I tell them what I'm doing and they think it makes sense. And then I sell their house for you know, tens and twenties and thirties and fifties and eighties of thousands of dollars over asking price. And they realize that they hired me for a reason. And a lot of times in life, um, we don't take the advice of the people that know what they're doing. You know, if you don't sell houses every day, you don't know the best techniques. So why would you question the person that sells houses every day? Um, if your uh, motorcycles are loud on the parkway over here, if you're at the gym and uh, your uh, trainer tells you to do things a certain way and you choose to do them your own way and you don't get the most out of a workout, why are you paying a trainer? Uh, if you're paying a coach, whether it be a life coach or business coach, and they're telling you the best way to do business, the best way to handle situations, and you don't do what they're saying to do, why are you hiring professionals? Why are you paying people to coach you? Why are you hiring someone um, and questioning what they do? Uh, if you hire someone to paint your house, do you ask them why they prime the walls first? Do you ask them why they paint, you know, in a certain direction? No, you hire a professional to do the job, and you pay them to do the job. Obviously, you want to make sure they're qualified. But if you hire someone to do the job, let them do the job. Don't second-guess them. <coughs> um, learn from them. Learn what they do, why they do it. And, uh, you know, you can have that going forward. But um, if you hire someone... Take their advice. Listen to what they have to say. Don't second guess them. Don't, um, I don't know. Don't do the opposite of what they tell you to do. Um, again, when you're working with a professional, do what the professional tells you. That's why you hire a professional. And I see a lot of people doing this in life that uh, go against, um, they think they know better than the professional they hired. And it just doesn't make any sense. It just gets kind of annoying to the professional. Um, it's counterproductive. So, um, again, whatever is in your life, if you're hiring someone to help you, let them help you follow their advice. Follow your coach's advice, follow your trainer's advice, follow your realtor's advice, follow your contractor's advice, follow your attorney's advice, follow your accountant's advice. That's why we hire professionals. Don't second guess them. So, um, anyway, there's your message of the day. Let's jump on prayers. Your Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. We forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, help us to... Um, learn from those around us that have gone there before. Help us to um, be surrounded by the people that, uh, the professionals in the world that can help us and help us to learn from them and help to help us to let them guide us into the right direction uh, to receive the required outcome that we're looking for. Amen. All right, so you got your message. Hope that made sense to you. Don't go hiring a professional and then second guess the professional. What you, What are you doing there? You're just making it difficult for everybody. Um, don't hire a coach and do the opposite. 
so many people hire coaches and the coach tells them what to do and they do the opposite. Um, you know, so many people hire an accountant and the accountant tells them what to do with their money and their investments and whatnot and people do the opposite. Um, you know, I tell people, I list the house, I tell people need and clean cells and they refuse to clean their house. They refuse to get it ready for pictures. Um, trust your professional. If you hire a professional, trust their guidance. That's why you hire a professional. Hi everyone. Here's the message of the day. Have a great night. It's a beautiful night here in Long Island, New York. The wind has died down slightly. Um, it's getting a little bit warmer. Uh, winter was holding on strong, but uh, looks like uh, we're finally over the hill, hopefully. So uh, <coughs> get some more rides in. 20 days left of this journey. Appreciate all you for following. <coughs> Who's on here? Joni, Steve, Nicole, what's up? How are you guys? All right, everyone. Put your hand on the pillow every night knowing you're making the world a better place. Fire starts fire. Let's go.